Here are five tips to deal with your feelings the day after the election. The first one's actually for the people whose candidate won. Be empathetic. Remember those times where your candidate lost an election, 2022 or 2020, so try to show some compassion and kindness. Perhaps it's not a good time to go talk to the other person about the results, but just not gloating is a great place to start. Number two for the people whose candidate lost and you're feeling today angry, sad, frustrated. It is okay to feel that way and name those emotions. Emotions. I usually tend to skip this step and immediately go into what do I do next? And my therapist is always reminding me of the importance of mourning something that didn't go your way. However, there needs to be a time limit. So set up maybe a couple of hours to feel that way. And then let's go to step number three, avoid rabbit holes. It's very easy to start thinking about what ifs, all of the things that could happen in the next four years because we don't know for sure if they're going to happen. Today, focus on the present. Right now, you're probably being inundated with information that's just making you feel way more anxious. But instead of reading every single news article, watching cable news all day long, doom scrolling on social media, set a time limit to read the news and then go to step number four take care of yourself. And this is perhaps the most important one of them all. Try to think about those activities that can help you calm down. Maybe go for a walk, work out, have a conversation with friends that does not involve politics. Something that you know is going to fill your soul. And number five is make a plan and get involved. I know that it's very common for us to think that we are powerless, but the reality is that we can have significant impact in our communities for the causes that we really care about. Plus, this has an extra benefit. Being involved in our community, establishing human connections with the ones around us is going to not only make us feel better, but that we have a purpose in this world. So those are the five tips. Please let me know in the comments what you think about them or if you have any other suggestions on how to deal with all of the emotions on the day after the election. And if you know someone that you think needs to watch this video, please share it with them. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Remember, I'm here to tell you that as polarized as it might seem that we are, there is a way forward for America to become more united. I'm sending you all a big hug as you navigate today. Take care.